some of the code examples in this chapter, I've used the ampersand ampersand operator to mean and, and the double upright bar operator to mean or. The AND and OR operators are called logical operators. Logical operators can help you chain together conditions. And here are some examples which I'll look at shortly. And when you chain together conditions, that means that you want to do some sort of test and take some action only when all of that set of conditions are true or when any one of a set of conditions is true. For example, you might want to offer a discount to customers only when they've bought goods worth more than $100, pounds or euros, and they've also bought the deal of the day. In code, these conditions could be evaluated using the logical AND operator, like this. But if you're feeling more generous, you might want to offer a discount either if a customer has bought goods worth more than $100, pounds or euros, or has bought the deal of the day. In code, these conditions can be evaluated using the logical OR operator, like this. Logical operators test Boolean values. A Boolean value can either be true or it can be false. Now, some programming languages have a special Boolean data type, but C doesn't. As I explained previously, in C, any non-zero value, such as 1 or 100, is evaluated as true, but a zero value is evaluated as false. In the code archive, you'll find a few examples of using logical operators in the project 05 underscore logical operators. Now, here you'll see that I've set up a few variables with values which I'm going to test in the conditions down below in my code. You can create quite complex conditions by chaining together tests with multiple AND and OR operators, but be careful. Complex tests are often hard to understand, and if you make a mistake, they may sometimes produce unwanted, unexpected side effects. And just as when you were using arithmetic operators, bear in mind that you can avoid ambiguity by grouping together the individual test conditions between parentheses. Now, here, both parts of this test must evaluate to true, that is, age must be less than or equal to 30, and salary must be greater than or equal to 30,000 in order for this entire test to be true. If this test evaluates to true, then this code executes. Otherwise, that is, if the test evaluates to false, this code executes. Here, either this test or this test must evaluate to true in order that this entire test is considered to evaluate to true. So, if age is less than or equal to 30, or if salary is greater than or equal to 30,000, then this entire test evaluates to true. So if either this or this or both of these tests are true, this code executes. Only when both this test and this test are false does this code execute. Note that the exclamation mark or NOT operator can be used to negate a condition. So here, where I have the test number of children not equal zero, I could rewrite that by putting the test number of children equal zero and negating it by putting the exclamation mark in front of it. Now try running my code and modifying the tests to understand better how all these operators work.